In an exercise of precise diplomatic choreography, the world's eyes are centered on the UN. But for reporters from every corner of the planet, it is all but organized. As a journalist, this is actually my 16th UN General Assembly, but uh, the one thing you can guarantee every year is it's complete chaos. Every year you see journalists melt down, I've seen tears, I've seen fits, anger, um, but, it's, it, but people can still keep on coming. More than 4,000 journalists applied for credentials to cover the General Assembly this year. But getting those credentials is not always easy. The worst thing for journalists is when they've flown in from a country, sometimes thousands of miles away, you know, 24 hours traveling, they have to line up and get one of these. And these badges, you can't move anywhere without them. And sometimes the lines are 6, 12, 24 hours long. Last year, uh, people were camping overnight. However, this year was different. If you add, include, in fact, the reporters and also the delegates, just the sheer number of passes that had to be issued just in the last few weeks was, I believe, 12,000. So it's a, it's, it's a lot to do, and you had to space it out so that you don't have you know, lines out the door day after day. TV studios are set up on the streets, with correspondents broadcasting to all over the world. Reporters scrambling to make deadlines. Sidewalks become offices. There is barely time to eat. It never stops from early in the morning to the wee hours of the night. Even though they travel from far away places to New York, there is not time to be a tourist. We were busy working and uh, we, have, we don't have time to go and do, uh, you know, uh, to see United States, but uh, it's good. And like it was never here, over the weekend, everything goes back to normal. Everyone goes home. Alberto Pimienta for VOA News, United Nations.